Hey everyone, welcome back to another PNS overview. Today we'll be taking a look at Rosanna the Merigaya. It looks like my luck is turning around with these PNSO figures coming in. We all know the troubles I've had getting these figures in from Amazon. And ever since I stopped using Amazon, the figures have been coming in much quicker. I've been using a combination of AliExpress and Dan's Dinosaurs. And I'm getting these figures in about a month now. And I actually end up getting two PNSO figures in today. I ordered them from two different sellers. And here's a little tease of what's coming for tomorrow. So yeah, I've been pretty happy that these have been showing up in you know relatively a short amount of time. This Merigaya retails for around $30, and I'll leave a link in the description to Dan's Dinosaur if you want to order this figure for yourself. And if you order anything from Dan's, just tell him Dino Scream sent you in the comment section. It helps out the channel a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. So before we take a closer look at this bizarre Stegosaur, let's just go over the packaging really quick. It comes in the standard prehistoric animal models packaging that we've been seeing since the line started. You've got a beautiful picture of Rosanna on the front of the box. And on the top of the box, you have a close-up of her freakishly long neck. And just like every other PNSO figure, you get a nice little pamphlet with some close-ups of the Merigaya. And then up here, we actually have a picture of the known elements of Merigaya, particularly this is specimen MG4863, which this figure is based on. So enough about the packaging, let's take a look at Rosanna. So let's start with a nice 360 degree view of Rosanna. I have to say over the last few months, PNSO has been absolutely knocking it out of the park with all the figures they've been releasing. And this Merigaya is no exception. And this is definitely an interesting take on this Stegosaur. Most of the reconstructions that we see, the plates along the back and the spikes on the tail are not as tall and long. That is because this figure seems to be based off the reconstruction that Ashley Patch did. Uh, I think she used some of the information from Francisco Costa, who's actually working with specimen MG4863. It's part of the Merigaya project. They're trying to get the first full fossil skeleton of a dinosaur mounted in Portugal. And I'll leave a link in the description to Facebook so you can follow the Merigaya project. It's pretty interesting to see how that's coming along. But this is a beautiful looking figure. I love the freakishly long neck on this Stegosaur. The plates are beautifully done. The main body coloration is a couple different shades of brown. You have these nice black stripes and blotches along it. And the plates just look absolutely gorgeous. They have a little bit of orange and yellow mixed in with the tips uh, painted over with a little bit of brown. Just a beautiful looking figure. So let's just do a couple quick measurements before we take a closer look at this figure. This figure from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout is exactly eight inches long. And the figure is just about three and a quarter inches to the tallest spike on the hip. So Merigai in real life was 18 to 20 feet long. So I'll put this figure somewhere in the 127 to the 130 scale range. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at Rosanna. I really love this figure. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You got that nicely sculpted stegosaur shape. There's just a tiny bit of paint rub on her snout. I've heard from a few people that uh, some of the PNSO figures are coming in with a little bit of paint damage, which is unfortunate. I will say the newest PNSO figure I got that I'll be reviewing tomorrow actually came wrapped in plastic and there's not a scratch on it. So hopefully they start doing that for the rest of their new figures. The eye is painted in black. It has some pink around. The eye socket, that's a really cool touch. You can clearly see the mouth sculpted in right here with the nostril. All the plates along the neck are beautifully sculpted. You got some nice fine details along the plates. And as you get down to the larger ones, you actually can see cracks on there, which is a really, really nice touch. They look absolutely beautiful. And they are kind of sharp looking, but they actually are made of a very soft plastic. They're actually softer than the ones that came on the uh, Tojanga source, which were really, really sharp. I kind of laughed at how sharp they were, you know, PNSO markets these figures towards kids, but they can be used as a weapon. Like if Safari produced a figure like this, they probably come with oven mitts to protect us. And going back to the head, you can see the row of osteoderms that formed like kind of like a chain mail to protect the underside of the neck of Stegosaurus. You could just see how long the neck is on this figure. Merigaya had the longest neck of any known Stegosaurus species. There was at least 17 vertebrae in this neck. And then going down to the front legs. Front legs are beautifully sculpted. Some nice paint work with those black markings. And you can actually see osteoderms sculpted in along the side of the body. This species did have osteoderms. And then going down to the main part of the body. Just beautiful scale work on here. Lots of variation. These figures just feel absolutely fantastic in hand. Got some nice folds and wrinkles around the thigh. 
nice meaty muscular looking thighs and then going down to the feet you can see the toe claws are painted in white turn the figure over some more beautiful scale detail along the belly got a little bit of pink uh, for the armpits of the forelimbs and hind limbs and then going down to the tail there's some nice black markings with a little bit of orange on the top where the spikes come out and just really love the way the spikes look on here now it's really interesting about the spikes there's really not too many plates known from this animal most of the ones along the neck are known and i don't think there's any along the back that are known i think maybe like one or two along the tail so yeah this is definitely a really cool reconstruction and i actually like it i it's i'm kind of used to the old uh safari one that had the much shorter place but i am really digging the long plates on this marigaya so yeah definitely a fantastic looking figure so let's move on with some comparisons first up is the old carnegie collection marigaya which is still a fantastic figure this was one of my favorites when it came out and you can see the huge difference in the shape and size of the plates both these figures are roughly the same size the carnegie one is just a little bit bigger but both of them have that freakishly long neck and i gotta say i do really like the uh, long plate look on the pns01 i guess when more specimens of this dinosaur are eventually found hopefully we'll get a better idea of what the actual plates look like on this hand but it's pretty cool to display these two figures next to each other on the shelf and here is a nice group shot of stegosaurs from pnso and various other companies so we do have some decent stegosaur variety out there if you know where to look Right here is the Collecte Gigantspinosaurus, and the back over here is the Rebor Stegosaurus. This one is the PNSO Trunkingosaurus that came with the Yang Chuanosaurus 2 back. Right here is the PNSO Tujangosaurus, and this one is the Batat Dasentruis. I think it was up until like 2017 or 2018 that Marigaya was considered a species of Dasentruis, but that's been disproven, and I always every time i bring out this figure right here here is the pnso stegosaurus which i think in my opinion is one of the worst figures pnso has ever put out i really really hope they redo stegosaurus actually give us a larger one because compared to these two right here these figures are in another league and this doesn't even work figures not even worthy of being on the same shelf and lastly, here it is with some of the other figures PNS was released this year. And what a beautiful lineup this is. PNS was giving us some great variety this year. And they are just keep trucking along. Um, what's today's uh, Friday? I bet sometime tonight there'll be another new figure being revealed because I heard they'd be revealing figures up until at least February. So I'm okay with that. And they are definitely building a case of me not getting figures from any other company the way they're just giving us such great variety and the quality figures is so great but yeah i'll still be buying for everyone else because I, I am a review channel but man they are definitely uh putting other dinosaur companies on notice with the quality of their products so final thoughts on this marigaya i think it's absolutely fantastic pnso is at the absolute top of their game right now and they show no signs of letting up so i do highly recommend this figure it's really nice all the variety PNSO has been giving us. They kind of stay away from like the mainstream stuff. Yeah, we get like an updated T-Rex, which is sorely needed for our dinosaur collections and Spinosaurus. But they're also giving us cool stuff like Machairoceratops and Marigaya and Chinsusaurus. So I really appreciate the variety of these lesser known species that they're giving attention to. And like I said at the beginning of the review, you can pick this figure up at Dan's Dinosaur. Link is in the description. So that would do it for the review. Uh, I still have to work on my top 10 dinosaur figures of 2020. I'm just waiting for that fat-ass PNSO T-Rex to come in. I should have that figure in within a week or so. So expect that video towards the end of the month. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.